As you already guessed from the title of this video, we are talking about Amazon. I'm thinking about making a whole series just talking about my experiences that I've had with Amazon and sharing experiences with other people. So if you want to share your experience, feel free to leave it in the comments. I might include it in a future video. What am I talking about today? Just some insider information. I got firsthand personal experience about managers actually yelling at each other behind the scenes. And now, well, I mean, I guess this doesn't really sound like breaking news. Managers probably yell at each other all the time behind the scenes. It's just when it happens at a place like Amazon, especially if you work there, you see the culture that Amazon promotes, not the culture they have, but the Amazon culture that Amazon promotes. To me, I found this a shocking like news, so I thought I'd share what actually happened. And this um, first-hand account came from a manager, not even like a level one. I think like he was like a couple levels up. He's been in the company for a couple of years. You speak to the guy like I would never like imagine him saying even just like saying this or even joking about this. He seemed like the nicest guy ever. He honestly was one of the nicest managers there. And I think he honestly didn't even do that well because he was probably just too nice and they didn't want to be too mean. And on a personal level, I'm not going to mention names or anything, but I kind of felt like I, I became... Kind of, at least out of all the employees that were there, I think I was probably one of the ones he was the closest to, one of the ones who talked to him the most. And I've had a couple of personal conversations with him. And I've seen him just like, I don't know, I would say that I've become at least like one of the best friends, better friends he had while he was there. Not to say that we were like really that close, but as far as work goes, getting into it, what did he actually say? Because I'm kind of, I don't want to ramble too much in this. I'm trying to cut down on my ramble in these videos though. What he actually said is, um, he, uh, another assistant manager, just just very casual, just very casual, and I don't think he was joking when he said this. I, I want to really emphasize, I think when he said this, he really meant it. The manager says to him, how's your day going? <laughs> An assistant manager says to him, how's your day going? And the manager said to him, oh, it's actually been going pretty good. No one yelled at me today. And, you know, I honestly come from this guy, and just like, you know, if you watch my channel, if you check through my videos, you know, I've studied a lot on like human psychology you know i'm really good at reading people i've studied a lot of body language a lot of emotions i'm really good at picking up on i don't know I, i'm not i don't know how much body language i'm really good at picking up on people's tone of voices i'm really p good at picking up on undertones and hearing what people really meant and just really getting and the way he said this the tones i pick in my personal opinion he was being 100 percent serious and their manager really res the assistant manager really responded to him oh wow that's actually pretty good and like again this has come from a guy i don't think jokes so it just kind of really like told me and this really nice guy that behind the scenes on amazon <laughs> These higher up managers are really, really actually might be like on some serious stuff, yawning at each other and like, you know, like I get it, like, you know, there, there's a degree that, you know, you get upset, you get frustrated, you get stressed out, maybe you sound a little angry in tone of voice, but the way I took it, I'm really kind of reading a lot into what he said. But like I said, if you look through my channel, like this is, I, I do stuff like this. I, I understand things like this. I'm reading a lot into it and I think he's honestly was being very serious that the managers, and this is supposed to be, this is a, was supposed to be one of the best sites to actually work at. This is actually, I'm, my experiences are coming from a site that's actually supposed to be good. I, the stories online sound even worse, but that apparently these higher up managers really yell at each other a lot. Their bosses probably really yell at each other like really, really often, really, really angrily, really, really aggressively. And I've actually heard from um, more than one person I have an actual personal account too on this one, a first hand account I'll add in on this, that being an assistant manager at Amazon is the worst job at Amazon. I've heard that and I've seen it in person. I have seen the nicest, most caring managers who were really like, I felt like there for me when, when I needed them to be there for me, just like yell at their assistant managers in ways that shocked me. Like I was surprised to even see it like this. And on that firsthand personal account that I got from this, I remember, yeah, my, well, one, I, I, one, one of the assistant managers, I knew him, actually on a more personal level i knew him outside of work too and i've seen him sometimes outside of work and i think one time we got yeah we got tacos together and he was probably one of so one of my closer friends at the job he was an assistant manager he really hated it and 
it, it was just kind of like, I think a known thing that his manager yelled at him a lot. But one time, I, the manager, I believe, actually said to me, like, he's the one who actually said to me, this guy, is his manager said to me that being an assistant manager at Amazon is the worst position. And I could hear it in his voice that he actually feels really, really bad yelling at his assistant manager but he almost like just feels like he has no choice but to do it and this is coming this is from another guy honestly this guy right here i'm thinking about right now different manager i love this guy this guy i i will tell jokes with him we'll laugh we'll have buddy conversations we'll talk about you know fun stuff we you know he was he was like this guy that like i remember i think even his like workers the people his bottom level place like love them because he go around like kind of like me like he kind of just reminded me of myself he was just really hyped up really high energy he used to do this joke that i think it was like a pun from a line for a movie but it like made sense for for i don't know if it came from like the notebook or something because he kind of looked like ryan gosley but he had this like joke where it, it, it's an amazon pond but he say to his employee whatever her name was he's like whatever you do don't stop receiving and it's just you know if you're there like it doesn't really you you wouldn't imagine this guy is angrily and aggressively like almost like emotionally abusing his assistant managers and i've seen this happen on a lot of levels and like kind of like wrapping up like on the beginning point like from a higher up manager who was just an amazingly nice guy and i'm saying this too because these are managers managers are horrible people so honestly just a manager being nice to some degree to me <laughs> can be like just seem like it's amazing like really like by comparison amazingly nice guy just casually making this joke that i don't think was a joke that nobody yelled at him today and they like to yell at him a lot and i've seen firsthand the assistant managers being yelled at a lot the manager honestly feeling bad that he's yelling at him and i remember um and this one guy, I don't, I don't want to feel like I want to say his name, but I just, I don't want to name names. I've seen a, a whole other different manager, different system manager. I feel like I'm rambling. I'm going to wrap up on this point. I've seen another manager and another assistant manager just like literally like yell. One, one time I was just like really thrown off because he was just like yelling at his assistant manager like in front of everyone to like this assistant manager actually quit <laughs> he went he went to go work a whole nother job he, he couldn't do amazon no more but i've seen them actually yell at him like why they're not getting more work done why is why there's not more work being processed why they're behind and i'm standing there like he's not the worker like he's the assistant manager it's his job to be an assistant manager this is now I'm talking about a different manager, different, I don't want to name names. I'm, I know it sounds a little confusing, but I'm talking about a different manager, different assistant manager from the other two stories. It's not his job to work in a sense, but I see him there driving the forklifts, helping move stuff, like acting like a regular worker, working side by side with the workers. And I'm just like, it's not his job to actually do that. His job is to make sure other people are working to keep going around between all his employees making sure that they're on point they're moving they're working as fast as they can and he's actually really trying to get work done himself trying to and the manager's yelling at him like why is the work not getting done and i'm just like it's not his job to do the work i mean realistically i wouldn't recommend this but i mean it kind of makes more sense now this is still a bad idea but it makes more sense for him to go to every single individual employee working for him and be like why are you not working faster I mean, if, I mean, not yelling. I mean, if you did it nice, I guess it made sense. You know, like, what, what's slowing you down today? You know, if you went to every single individual employee and was like, what's slowing you down today? Why are you not working faster? What can I do to help you? If you did that to every single employee, that would make more sense. But I see him just angrily and aggressively yelling, hollering at his assistant manager, like his assistant manager is even a worker. Like, not to say that he's not a worker, not to say that this guy doesn't want to work and that he's lazy, but just to say it's not his actual job to move all the boxes, to process all the work. This is a job to make sure other people are doing it so that the manager can go honestly BS and stare at the computer all day because that's what the managers at Amazon do. They just stare at the computer really, really hard for a really, really long time. Yeah. So I, I, gotta, I gotta honestly get some of these thoughts more organized. I really could honestly go off on like different situations I've had with different managers that are just like horrible horrible stories like just to kind of like 
leave it at one last point. This is a little bit off topic, but I still feel like it's, it's relatable. It kind of just like really, it's a good way to summarize this video. I think it's a good point to end this video on if you're still with me for now. And by the way, leave your comments if you want me to add into a future video. I'm definitely looking for, I share my own stories and eventually if I get enough, if I get good stories from other people, I'll share their stories too. Yeah, so to sum up this video, one of my friends, I mean, I'm gonna hope this wasn't a racist situation because he was of darker skin and the manager was of lighter skin. And this is a manager I've never really had problems with. This is a manager that respected me and very, very highly and thought of me as one of his better workers. I've never really had a problem with him. Though he said to uh, one of the employees, kind of went up to him and he was like, where's the problem solver? Problem solver is a guy at Amazon or girl whose job is literally just to fix problems, solve problems, whatever that may be. Maybe the label, it could be as simple as the label on the box doesn't work and they need to print out a new label. It could be that simple. It could be a lot more complicated than that. But uh, just, you know, give you a basic summary. And he's like, where's the problem solver? Because there just wasn't one there and he needed it so he could continue his work. And um, the manager said something along the lines of, there's no one, there's none here and it's not my problem. And it's just like, I just, I kind of feel like you can't really, as the manager, say that to your employee. Like even, I guess it, I would understand a little bit more if someone from a completely different apartment, department that you have absolutely nothing to do with and you don't know anything about that department. If you give some kind of a smirky remark of you can't, you know, that just tells him you can't help him or you have no idea how to help him or some sort of way. But he said to his own employee that it's not my problem. There's no one there. And he just really didn't care. And it just kind of really summarizes the culture, the real culture of Amazon. They promote all this stuff about being a great place to work you know good benefits good pay they take good care of their workers they always put safety first huge culture on safety first but when you actually work there you see the managers just really don't care about anything but productivity they don't care about getting as much work done as possible for as cheap as possible they want to constantly put up rates they want to get less people working for them it just and it just, it, it got bothers me. And I guess the real reason I wanted to start this series and actually make these videos is because it's not to poke fingers at Amazon and to say, Amazon, like you're a horrible company. Why aren't you a better company? It's to really just be like, Amazon, you're like the largest, most successful company of possibly all time. You know, I know Tesla wants to fight you on that, but realistically, I don't know if you look at numbers, just talking about who makes more money, Right now, we're, we're not making this video. I'm pretty sure Amazon is still the richest company in the world and they're probably making more money and then, than any other company that may eventually pass them in the future. But you have all this going for you and you literally just have endless stories of workers just complaining about the actual real work environment. And it's like, at least if you were to admit it, at least if you weren't to lie so much, at least if you didn't have people that you train and pay specifically to talk to the news and you're okay with these people actually lying or washing away the truth or making things sound like they're actually not as they are, I wouldn't have so much of a problem with Amazon. But my real problem with Amazon comes from the fact that they put themselves in this light of being such a great place to work. And when you work there, and I've worked there for way too long, they, they promote this culture of safety first, safety first, safety first. It's, it's literally like written in the Amazon guidelines, the Amazon rules, safety, quality, productivity. And as said by a good man who I used to work with over there, and this man was worked in safety. He, he just like me, he got himself into a lot of different jobs, a lot of different fields. He was a very respected worker. He was very well trained and eventually worked his way into being more working more with the safety department over there. He said in his own words, and I think he said it the best, is that Amazon likes to say safety, quality, productivity, but his experience with Amazon is Amazon puts productivity first, I guess you can say they put safety second and the only reason you can say they put safety second is because quality is non-existent. <laughs> that's the, that's a whole topic for a completely another video though. I could get into a whole nother video talking about how Amazon's quality is just non-existent and he, 
how workers over there after working there, I've heard people say now they don't want to buy a TV from Amazon after they see how Amazon deals with, with uh, packages and products. So that's a whole topic for another video. I'm going to leave this one at that. Uh, yeah, if you like this, if you want more, feel free to subscribe, drop a like, comment, whatever. Just l let me know if you want more. Feel free, definitely. If you're watching this, you probably have Amazon experience. You've heard Amazon experiences. So let me know what you'd like to see in the comments and or... What you do, if you have a story you'd like to me to bring up in a future video, thank you for watching.